In his last words before he left earth for heaven, Jesus gave us a mission. Go, make disciples, baptize them, and teach them to obey everything that he commanded. That mission is why I got into ministry. That mission is why I planted Restored Church with a team of friends. And we've seen God work in incredible ways on our journey. As exciting as that first decade in ministry was, at a certain point, I started to feel like something was off. See, over time, I found that more ministry stress and busyness started to lead to less of a commitment to disciple making. I found myself so busy running a church that I no longer was making time for making disciples in my everyday life. At that point, I started to think, this isn't why I got into ministry. See, in that season, disciple making had become the responsibility of the organization, not the responsibility of individuals, which meant that most of the fruit that we were seeing in that season was the result of church programs, not the result of church people taking the gospel into their everyday lives. Despite the fact that things were off in that season, God still did something much bigger and much quicker than we would have ever imagined. See, we saw 140 baptisms in our first eight years. But as exciting as that was, we started to ask ourselves, are we truly fulfilling our mission of multiplying followers of Jesus? When we started to ask that question, we started to realize that we were simply seeing rapid addition, not fruitful multiplication because very few of the dozens and hundreds of people that we reached with the gospel, baptized and discipled, ever went on to reach and disciple anyone else. That all changed when we joined a disciple-making church planting movement called the Timothy Initiative. We're now equipping people with the beliefs, skills, and values to multiply disciple makers, leaders, and churches. And we're seeing God work in incredible ways. In this season, we're seeing more people come to Jesus than ever before, and we're especially excited about how and where it's happening. It's not primarily happening because of pastors like me or in church buildings like this. No, in this season, we're seeing everyday people take the gospel into everyday environments. They're leading people to Christ. They're baptizing them, and then they are immediately training them as disciple makers to be able to reach and disciple more people as well. As excited as we are for what God's doing in Restored, we ultimately have a passion to invest beyond Restored, to see pastors and leaders equipped, to see disciple-making multiplication happening in their region as well. That's why this summer, we're hosting a Timothy Initiative vision cast right here at Restored, Tuesday, June 18th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. In this vision cast, you'll be equipped with disciple-making principles. You'll receive a free catered lunch and some free disciple-making resources. You'll also learn more about a cohort of leaders that you could join to be able to pursue disciple-making multiplication together. To sign up, you can go to restoredchurch.org slash TTI. And we would love to welcome you into this opportunity. I hope that you'll join us for this special time and that together we can see disciple makers, leaders, and churches multiplied across our nation.